Hello, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People. Today I'm going to feature baked pork chops. First I'm going to season my meat with paprika, ground black pepper, and soul food seasoning. Now season your meat on both sides after you have washed it. Now my pork chops, I let them sit in uh, cold water with a tablespoon of salt for about 30 minutes and then I clean them real good and now I'm at this point where I'm getting ready to season so I'm gonna season these and in the meantime I'm gonna take a tablespoon of olive oil and put it in a pan on the stove on medium heat and heat your oil up okay okay now I have seasoned both sides of my pork chops and I'm going to brown them a little bit before I put them in the oven. In the meantime turn your oven on 325 so it'll be ready to put in the oven. Okay we're going to brown these. Just brown these, just cook them until they're brown, lightly brown on both sides. And then I'll come back to you once I'm ready to put these in the oven. I'll show you what I'm going to do before then. Okay. Okay, my uh, pork chops are browning. In the meantime, while they're browning, I'm going to cut up a, uh, a half of bell pepper and a half of onion. While those, while this is brown, I'll have those fish look ready. Okay, I have cut up a half of onion and a half a bell pepper, uh, the green, and I had a little red to add to it. So I'm going to saute these vegetables in the same skillet with all the good stuff at the bottom. Saute that for about three minutes, not very long. Stir it all around in there. Okay, you pour your uh, vegetables over your meat that's in the pan. And then I'm going to make a, a small roux over here with this good stuff still in the skillet. I'm going to put about a, probably a half a cup of chicken broth in here. And I just use this chicken broth here from Trader Joe. I like it, so I use that. And give it a stir. So you can get that darkness at the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of white vinegar. 
Okay, I added the vinegar to there. A tablespoon of vinegar, and I just want to stir that around in there. Just to, so you can get that good old roux down in there. That's your flavoring down in the bottom of your pan. So I don't want it to go to waste. So I'll just put a little... This is heated. It's probably about three minutes to heat this up. Uh, stir the bottom of your pan. Okay, and then I'm going to pour this over my uh, pork chops that's in the pan. Okay. And then I'll cover it with uh, aluminum foil and put it in the oven and let it cook at 325 for about an hour or until it's tender, depending on your oven. And I'll be back. Okay, this is Char with the Real Kitchen for Real People again. While my pork chops are baking, that's one thing about uh, this channel, you will learn to prepare multiple meals or multiple items to for a meal uh, in this setting so when I'm showing you these things these are actual meals that I'm gonna sit down and eat so with the pork chops I'm going I've prepared the chicken flavored rice from Swans which is wonderful and the broccoli florets something simple just two people in here you put for your rice, you put an eighth cup of water and a, uh, a cap of olive oil and black pepper. Cover it up. And then in, in this little pot here, I have a uh, half a cup of water, a tablespoon of butter, and salt and pepper. And you cover this up. So let's do it. It's simple, but uh, delicious. So we'll have these two sides with the baked pork chops, and we're, we'll be calling it done. So I'll get back with you when I plate it. Okay, here are my uh, baked pork chops after an hour baking on 325. And now let's plate it. Okay, here it is, plated. And like I said, when you subscribe to The Real Kitchen for Real People, you're going to get not only specialized, customized items, but sometimes you'll get an entire meal. And this is just to show you uh, that you can complete a meal within an hour and a half at least to um, uh, serve to your family. And if you like what you see, how about comment me, subscribe, and let me know what you think. But right now, we're getting ready to eat what's plated on this plate. So thank you for tuning in to The Real Kitchen for Real People. And I'll check you later. Love, love.